My mother made a point to show me that she could love my little girl and not me. And in the beginning, when my daughter was an infant, she would play with her and coo and have this whole voice. And I had seen her with other babies before and never once had I seen her hold a baby, cuddle a baby, kiss a baby, touch a baby, nothing. But my daughter, oh yeah. And so I said to my mother, or I asked her without thinking, because if I had thought about it, I wouldn't have asked. It kind of slipped out if she had ever played with me that way. And she's like, yes, of course I did, right? Heads moving in 8 million directions. And I didn't know it at the time, but I came to learn that she actually neglected all of my needs. She would leave me in my crib for hours on end, unfed, unchanged, but she played with me that way. When I would watch my mother play with my little girl, I had very mixed feelings. I had the feelings of being really happy for my daughter that she was receiving that kind of love from my mother. And I had the feelings of profound sadness that I didn't know what that felt like. I was never jealous. I was more like, what can I do to be in some of that sunlight? Looking back at it now, I realized that's exactly what my mother was trying to create. My feeling sad, my feeling of earning her love, that there was an actual possibility that it was there, love. She doesn't have it, right? And as I look back even further, I recognize all the times where she was engaging with other children that would have been around my age, like when she visited that one time at summer camp and showing me that if only I were like them, she could approve of me. One of which was a little girl who was teeny, teeny, tiny, like underweight, tiny, had a little boy body, like no meat on her bones. It's no surprise to me, looking backwards, that in my late teens, early 20s, I developed an eating disorder. And it was when I was around 85-ish pounds that my mother was like, oh, you look so good. People who are narcissistic use other human beings as tools against their own children, who are also nothing more than playthings for them. They don't have the capacity to love or care about the well-being or needs of anybody else. They're too focused on their own.